Well, UConn's president says if enacted, the governor's proposed budget would leave the school nearly $160 million short next year. This budget technically raises base appropriations for UConn by about $23 million, but overall funding to higher education institutions would shrink, which schools say they can't sustain. We'll hear from Mason Holland, the UConn student body president. We're not a corporation asking for a tax break. We're not, you know, some some large business that made a mistake and now we're asking for the state's help in fixing it. We are Connecticut's future. Students and school officials on edge after Governor Lamont's budget address Wednesday. Certain things have not been in the best financial place and they've been slipping for a while. UConn's President Radenka Merrick released this letter saying if the university tried to cover just the store's campus portion of these budget shortfalls, it would need to raise tuition by $3,000 per student. The scariest thing is we don't know exactly what this could affect. The administration argues it's attempting to transition funding to a more sustainable place as temporary pandemic era American Rescue Plan Act dollars expire. We've given them additional ARPA in this budget for two more years uh, on top of the baseline appropriation that we hope will taper them down, but they should not have built that into their base. They should not have used that for ongoing programs. But universities potentially planning to retaliate UConn's school paper reporting. President Merrick threatened to push back by pulling the university's current deal with the Excel Center in Hartford. Speaker of the House Matt Ritter shutting that down Wednesday morning, saying he spoke with UConn's athletic director and the school reiterated its commitment to play at the Excel Center. But one state lawmaker says cutting this contract might not be the worst idea. It is smart that if we're going to make reductions that we should try to preserve the academic programming. I don't know that we'll go so far as to not play UConn games at, uh, in Hartford anymore, but they have a mission to educate folks in the state of Connecticut and that is the thing that we rely on them first and foremost to do. Now, multiple lawmakers today told me they plan to provide more money in the legislature's budget proposal. However, they're unsure if they'll actually get enough to fully close this funding gap. UConn students are planning for that walkout February 15th. Brent.